Sir, what do we do now? Suggestion, we should go into surveillance mode. Agreed. Let's faint. Oh. Let's faint? What is that? That's... Bells. Hitler. What about him? Lousy shot. Bells! Oh, no. We've got to stop the bleeding. No, I Sir? like her. That blue box. I mean, she's creating chaos, but I do like her. Please keep her. When we take this one down, the Justice Department will give us the rest of the year off. Are you sure? There's no question. Yeah. And no possibility. Let's go. I was going to marry you. Good idea. Let's get Aww. married. You stay alive and I'll marry you. Deal? Deal? Oh. Might as well do it now. Since they're both right here. What? Huh? Penny in the air. Huh? Penny drops. Huh? What the hell's going on? Back, 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 back. I'm a Thori. Okay, Doctor, explain what is happening, please. Bells. Short for... Melody. Yeah. It took me years to find you two. I'm so oh. glad I did. Can you see? Is she turning into River before their very eyes? I'm focusing on a dress size. Wow, they're meeting their daughter so many times when she's a grown up. <laughs> and she was this. Yeah, mm hmm. That's what I thought. <gasps> Hello, Rivet. It just doesn't stop, does it? Mature. Hello. Oh. Oh, okay. I get why she was into the doctor then. Excuse me, you lot. I need to weigh myself. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh, poor doctor. He's like covering it. That's <laughs> melody. That's Rivers. Cheer. Who's River Song? Spoilers. Spoilers? What spoilers? That is the best. I love how everything falls into place. This Does feels. Everybody else finds his day just a bit difficult. I find it wonderful. Yeah, I think that's Hitler in the cupboard. That's not Hitler. <laughs> this isn't the River Song we know yet. This is her right at the start. I'm going to wear lots of jug clothes. Well, it's her, all right? Oh my god, this is so cool, I love this! What she's programmed to? Yeah, where'd she get the gun? Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Benjamin. Oh. Oh, he took the ball, oh yeah. Tidied up a bit. I know you did. Watch, Watch out, out that, that bow tie. tie. Ah, uh, she took the other one from the fruit. Uh, you know. What is going Really? Like, really? Oh my god, this is so cool! You busy? Oh, I'm not complaining. I'm a psychopath. I'm not rude. This is what they were building. My bespoke psychopath. I'm on your sweetie. Berlin on the eve of war. A whole world about to tear itself apart. No need, my love. The deed is done. And so are you. Doctor, what's wrong? What? what have you done? What does it mean? She poisoned him? There's never going to be a gun for you, Doctor. The man of peace. What's wrong with you? What's she done to you? Poison me. But I'm fine. Well, but, but I'm fine. I'm dying. Yeah. See? Fine. Scanning him? He's dying, all right. But no, he can't. he can't. No, he can't be because he has to get. How do we help you? 
at least a few years older and until the picnic. He was the very same character back then. He can't change characters. Oh, well, she's been brainwashed. It all makes sense to have gloves. She's a woman. Oh, Thanks. I'm dying. Oh, God. Extract the fans on. Oh, that works. <laughs> Who's with me? Shoot her. Oh, you can't. Never shoot a girl while she's regenerating. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, okay. She's still regenerating, so she's invincible for a short time span. I'm going shopping. So I think that they didn't find little Melody for a long time. I know how this looks. Otherwise, she couldn't have like. Oh, what's wrong? Can't do that in Germany either. You go to prison like immediately. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is this episode? This is so much. Doctor is confirmed deceased. We have his record. He doesn't die here. He dies in Utah by Lake Silencio, April twenty second, two thousand and eleven. Kennedy? This time card, it's a confirmed fixed point. The doctor must always die exactly then. He always has. And he always will. I need an interface. Voice interface, come on, emergency. Oh. Hi. No, oh, no, 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 no. Give me someone I like. Oh. Oh. Also guilt. <laughs> Amy. Voice interface enabled. Little Amy. Your system has been contaminated by the poison of the Judas tree. You will be dead in 32 minutes. Oh. Mm-mm. You'll be dead in 32 minutes. Why do you keep saying that? Because you will be dead in 32 minutes. Thank you. Can stop now. River needs me. She's only just beginning. I can't die now. You will not die now. You will die in 32 minutes. I'm Stop saying that! No, he's not. No, he's not. Tell me how. I'm not Amelia Pod. I'm a voice interface. Amelia. Amelia. That's the worst AI I've ever seen. Fish fingers and custard. What did you say? Oh. Oh, okay. We're, we're getting there. Oh, Amelia Pond. Oh, fish. Oh, he's fighting. She gives him so much strength. He was about to give up already. Custard! You okay? Thank you. Didn't need that one. I think the only one who can save him is going to be River. Maybe the other version of her. Take off your clothes. What? Why? Look for clues. Clues? What kind of clues? Screams, maybe. And people without <laughs> clothing. Huh? Oh, they got an Amy robot already. Uh oh. Now look at that. Now that's fun. <laughs> From every angle. So that's how she goes shopping. Now, dear, I told you not to follow me. That's the robot. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! That's bad. I'm trapped inside a giant robot replica of my wife. I'm really trying not to see this as a metaphor. <laughs> well, there was a ray and we were miniaturized. Very clever, were we? Oh, God. How do we get out of this, though? 
is normal to experience fear during your incineration. Stop, or I sonic. What are you doing? Uh, uh... Yeah, just activate it. It will do something. It's okay. Stay still and don't move. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Welcome aboard the Tesselect, then. I might take the age down Whew. a little. Okay. Just... It's good that they need them. Sorry. Did you say she killed the doctor? The doctor? <gasps> Looking good, are we? Doctor Who? What an entrance, but how? Doctor? You're dying. And you stopped to Apparently check. not. Judgment death machine. Why am I not surprised? Sonic Kane. Are you serious? That's cool. Work by tiny people. Love it. But how did you all get in there, though? Bigger on the inside? <laughs> Thanking you. How'd you do that? What? Left leg power nap. I forgot I had one scheduled. Actually, bet it's hit now, and I think I heard the right one yawning. So he's still dying. She's the woman who kills you. I'm not dead. You're dying. Yeah, but, yeah. What do you want with her? She's Melody Pond. According to our records, the woman who kills the doctor. Sure. Unpunished in their lifetimes. Time travel has responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, we know that. The doctor is aware of that. I'd ask you who you think you are, but I think the answer is pretty obvious. Yeah? That woman is my daughter. You give him anything he wants. If she's family, she has privileges. She has? Okay. We'll take that. Say access personal records to the doctor. Oh gosh, I want to know this. I want to know this. Their core belief is that silence will fall when the question is asked. What question? The first question. What? But what is the question? Unknown. Okay, he's finished. Oh my god. <laughs> well then, let's. No, 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 no. Uh 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 uh. This is not how it. Oh, is he actually talking? What do we do? Just stop now. She's your daughter. Just stop now. You are unauthorized. Your death will now be implemented. Okay. Oh. That's a very clever idea. Oh god, does it work though? I think it does. Oh, she made it. Now, I know you're scared, but never run when you're scared. We'll save it. Please. Emergency beam up now, everyone. Oh, they have an emergency beam. Okay. Where'd everyone go? How can they just disappear? Oh no, it's not good. Doctor, please. <clears throat> But how did we save the doctor? <laughs> the the power he this is and why are you just sitting there staring at him? Just help! Look at you. Please, you're the only one now. You still care? Of course he does. Doctor, help us! Please help us! It's impressive. I'll give you that. Am I right? Help me. Save me a board. Help me. Go on. Does he look like he can talk to you right now? Gosh, 
gosh damn it, I didn't think I would need them in the first episode already. I love you. Oh no, please. I love you too. Oh, please not, please not. No, 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 no. The door is going to open, is it? Come on, come on. <gasps> Brilliant idea. How do you do it? <laughs> Where is he though? Was that River or the Doctor? I was her. So? I seem to be able to fly her. Yeah. Where is he? No. No, 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 no. Bond. You've got to schedule for everything. But it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm there with you. How do we help you? Oh, sorry, Rory, you can't. There must be something. She can. Listen to me. She knows what poison it is. Are his words going to change? Like, she already has changed, but... To are the, her, his words now creating the character River that we know. Find River Song and tell her something from me. Tell her what? Not again! This game every single time. What the freaks? No. This is not right. This is not right. No. Uh uh. I'm not believing this. He doesn't die now. Come on, it has to be something you can do. Just tell me. The doctor. Is he worth it? Of course he is. Never. No. What are you doing? Hello, sweetie. She's like... She is healing him with the powers of the TARDIS. With TARDIS energy. I gotta blow my nose again. Oh my gosh, what an episode. He said no one could save him. But he must have known I could. The doctor lies. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. She'll be absolutely fine. Oh. No, she won't. What? She will be amazing. Okay. The book. Oh. He gave her the book. We have too much foreknowledge. It's dangerous thing, foreknowledge. Oh. Just some data I downloaded from the test selector. Very boring. Dr. Riddle. Who's murder? Do you already know all the answers? Luna University. 5,123. Oh my gosh. Why do you want to study archaeology? Well, to be perfectly honest, oh. I'm looking for a good man. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. Oh. 
Will it always stay like that, that I'm watching an episode and I'm totally overwhelmed afterwards? <laughs> Will it always stay like that from now on? Because this is unbearable. <laughs> I mean, I wished for an episode that will continue the main storyline and I got it. But that was just too much again. My brain is like having one million thoughts. Oh. oh God, and also I cried so much again. I didn't think I would need those. I went to get them, but I didn't think I would need them in the first episode. Like, I know it's not the first of the series, but the first of the second part. So it's similar to the start of the very first part. We're starting off very strong, very strong. So, this is it. This is the beginning of the storyline of River Song. Wow. So now we've kind of seen the... No, not kind of. We've seen the beginning. And I think we've already seen the ending of it. Which was the library episode. Which I'm not sure if that's, that's really the ending ending of her. But I assume it's going to be. And this feels so weird to already know that. I mean, I know that there is still, there are so many parts in there because time is not going forward in a normal way. It's like messed up completely. So we do not go like a straight line from her birth to her death or the other way around. She's going to play a big part from now on, I suppose. Like in the show, even bigger than before, because now the show really concentrates on who she is and her origins and the way she changed from being Melody to being River Song. I think that change is what happened in this episode, which is, it's wonderful. And in the end, she starts studying because she wants to find the doctor again. That's so cool. Yeah, and we already know she's going to shoot him. 2011? Was that the number on the screen? Time of his... The, the date of his death. There's so much in this story. It's just unbelievable. I have absolutely no way of talking about all of this and not missing out on something, if you know what I mean. So this is yet another very important episode where I need to read your comments and your guidings if I have forgotten anything or if I didn't notice anything that I need to know for the future because this is a whole big storyline that you can please fill the gaps. But remember... Only for this episode and past episodes, not for future episodes, which is very important in this storyline because I don't want to be spoiled. Spoilers! And it's so interesting to see that everything that River is in the future, she is that or like that because of the Doctor and Amy and also Rory because they formed her that way. They gave her her name. They showed her, or the doctor showed her, that she could drive the, like, use the TARDIS to fly, to travel in time. He showed her the power she has, because she didn't know yet. And, spoilers, that's from the doctor. The book, that's from the doctor. Like, everything she is in the future, she is because of the doctor. That's so wonderful. And... If you remember in the library episode, that was the very first episode where we met her. The doctor didn't even know her. So, what? Ugh. This show is unique in its way. I don't know any other show that can do something like that. That is even able to pull a storyline like that. I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, I know one other show with time travel and stuff that's really well done, which is Dark on Netflix. And if you love time travel stuff, you have to watch this show. But be sure to take notes during watching because otherwise you will get lost. Kind of like in Doctor Who. <laughs> but it's so cool. I, I love how Amy and Rory have already met their daughter so many times when she was already an adult. But they're unable to find her when she's still a baby. I mean, think about that. If you get a baby, it gets taken away from you. And the next time you see her, she's like, like, not even in a few years, in a few days, you see her and she's already grown up. Then you see her dying. And then she changes into a person that you already knew but you didn't know that that was your daughter. How do you comprehend something like that? This is just impossible. And also when we saw the alien episode, I thought that the aliens were the ones who like are the silence. But they were not, or they were a part of it, but this silence is not over. I thought with the aliens gone, the silence was over, but it's not. It's still a big part of the show. It's still continuing. It's still there. It's a religious cult, if I remember correctly. I'm going to have to go through this episode again while editing it, and I'm going to have to think about all the things that have been said. <laughs> What, what what else? Um, Nazis. <laughs> Why do I always have to go through this? I am so glad we didn't see Hitler again. Because what the frick. The last time when we had a Nazi episode, somebody pa uh, on Patreon commented yeah, about pitying me that I have to go through this every single time with Doctor Who. Uh, as a German watching something like that and um, I don't mind to be honest I mean it's a part of the history of my country but and I don't want to go into deep uh, into deep but I do have nothing to do with it so it's just history I've learned it in school I know what happened I don't want to ever have I don't want it to ever happen again and that's it and I can like watch it on television without feeling any guilt or anything like that because this wasn't me but it's interesting how many times they pick this theme, to be honest. And this time they like went all the way, showing even Hitler. <laughs> also, like I said in the episode, those swastikas, you can't like show something like that in German. Neither in a movie, in a TV show, in a computer game. I think for computer games they have changed the rules, to be honest, a few years back. But I'm not very sure. But only like two years ago, you couldn't do that. Otherwise, like in every single computer game where there is a swastika in the original, it gets replaced by another sign that is very different, but you know what it replaced. <laughs> so it's kind of dumb to do that. Maybe that's why they changed it. It was very interesting to see it in a TV show. It felt kind of weird, I have to be honest. <laughs> I have to admit that. But I, I did really like the jokes around Hitler that the, the doctor pulled there. It was really funny. And also when Rory hit him and <laughs> slapped him or punched him. Also, the sign that Rory did downstairs when there was this guy who wanted to shoot them. And he's like, huh. I can't say it, I can't do the hand thing because you can get go to prison if you do that in Germany. So, but you know what I mean. I have talked about it in that very scene. It was super funny to see that. <laughs> I really did like the overall theme. Like, I did like the story with the robots and the, the, the little people. Very interesting. And I find it very intriguing if they... Uh, do tell us stories that do mix up history and future. They kind of tend to do that on Doctor Who. And this was another one, which is really interesting. You have these old times where you exactly know where you are in time. 
because of what is happening in that moment. And then you have something futuristic, something that those people can't even comprehend because they don't know of anything about that technology. And uh, then you have the doctor who's used to live in both worlds. It's super intriguing. Like it very much. Also, I loved how they had a storyline behind it all, like this futuristic robot story. And in addition to that, we had the main storyline to continue. It was a great mixture of it all, and I really, really enjoyed it. And we had sad moments. We had moments where I was laughing so bad. And I I had moments where I held my breath again and I forgot to breathe. So this episode had it all. I am running out of high ratings for episodes, <laughs> to be honest. This series is crazy. Let's get to the IMD rating, shall we? I just read the title of the English episode um, because I do need it for the confirming button over here to confirm that I have seen this episode. So I looked up the title and I knew already because my mod told me that the German title is very different from the English title for that episode and that the English title is a spoiler, but the German one is not. And he said maybe they changed the title because of what it said. <laughs> and I just told you how weird we are here in Germany. Like, not weird, it's our history and people are ashamed of it, So they, and they don't ever want it to happen again, so they do everything they can to hide it um, in the usual life. So the episode, the English episode, is called Let's Kill Hitler. So Hitler's name is in it. And the Germans went so far to change the title completely of this episode to against the time <laughs> has nothing to do with the original title that's what we do to cover up those wounds that we still have in this country we don't we don't even use like titles with that name in it I found this a very interesting detail so let's talk about the rating of the episode like i said i'm running out of good ratings for the series this is another nine point something because I enjoyed it from start to finish. And I I gave the last episode a 9.3. I think I enjoyed this one even more than the last one. So I'm going to go with 9.4 because I do still need other ratings that I can get for even better episodes. But th this show keeps on giving and giving and giving. It's unbelievable. 9.4. Let's see what IMBD says. Oh, okay, 8.0, that's, I mean, it's a good rating, but it's a very, I mean, it's like not far away from 7 point something. This isn't deserved, to be honest. This episode deserves a higher rating for sure. Don't you like, like it like me? Because I enjoyed it from start to finish. Maybe, I don't know, with the angry Germans who... <laughs> voted a six point something because there were Nazis in it or I don't know maybe some people didn't like the robot stuff because the main story stuff about River you can't be angry about that right I don't know I thought the episode all of the components worked so well together that I enjoyed it more than the last episode even if the last episode was wow I have no idea why do you vote it 8.0? Tell me in the comments down below because I really want to know. I'm curious. Okay, let's look at the picture. Oh, that's a wonderful picture. Look at that. Ew. Okay. Also, when, all, when we all thought the doctor was dying, I was very sad. But I knew that he wasn't. Because, like... Even the one guy, like Captain Kirk from the Enterprise, he told, I'm sorry, I forgot his real name, but you know who I mean. Even he said, it's a fixed point in time, it can't be changed. The Doctor is going to die 2000, in 2011, he's not going to die now. So yeah, I was afraid, but then again I wasn't. But they waited until the very end to 
resolve this issue. Also, something that I do want to talk about real quick is I love how much he is fighting for Amy. If it comes to her, he can like build up energy and force that isn't there in the first place. But he thinks about her, he wants to save her and he can lift up the whole world if it comes to her and her well-being. I would really want to know whether he loves River for River because of who she was or is when he met her or because she is Amy's daughter or maybe both. I don't know. But I love the scene in the TARDIS as well where he's like, yeah, that was super funny when he's like, yeah, show me someone that I like or something along those lines. And the TARDIS shows a rose and he's like, no, too much guilt. Show me another one. <laughs> that and when, then when Natalia the showed him, like, Donna, he's like, no, no, this is too much. I can't take it anymore. But show me someone who can. I, I like, the guilt is too much. And then it's little Amy. And she's very mean to him in the first place. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't her. And she didn't get, like, tired telling him about that. She's like, no, I'm a voice interface. And you're gonna die in 32 minutes. <laughs> I was a super funny and yet a super like disturbing scene because the doctor was in real pain. But I loved when he gave up and closed his eyes. But then he heard about the fish fingers and he just collected all the energy left in him. And when he stood outside the TARDIS in this tux and with this hat and he introduces himself again. He looked so good. He looked really cool in that tax. Okay, I think that's everything that I do want to say about the episode. If you want to watch whole reactions with me, like uncut, if you have your own copy of the show, I do have my own Patreon channel. And if you're interested, the link is in the description down below. And I will see each and every single one of you out there next week with the next episode. Until then, bye!